guys, I want to talk about cats in an RV today a little bit because I know there's a lot of people that always ask me questions of how do I survive with a cat in an RV in a tiny space like that with litter and food and everybody thinks it's like this big problem, but it's abs it's so important for me to, you know, be able to stay sane and uh, enjoy life with a cat. However, before I get right into this video and show you my entire cat setup here in my Tioga, uh, there is one big major change that happened. Um, I actually adopted a second cat, which is really big for me. Uh, Jax and I have been together for o over four years, and uh, we just decided to invite another cat into the RV because my life's changing. I'm not spending as much time in the RV with work, and uh, he needs a buddy to be able to not chew cords. So we adopted this little guy, and uh, his name was Duster, but... Um, I think I'm going to change it. He's he's also a boy. He's neutered. He has his claws, though. And um, when we first introduced the two of them, it was uh, kind of scary. I shot some video from my iPhone. Jax was very aggressive and mean, but it was somebody else's apartment, so I don't really blame him for lashing out on Duster. <coughs> oh. A couple days later... About 48 hours later, now they can be in the RV together, and they even snip each other and lick each other, and they are best buddies. And I'll, eventually they'll come down, but they're just kind of tired and cranky right now. But he's a, he's a really cool kitty. I like him. Very unique. I'm going to have to definitely get a brush to uh, brush him. But uh, I want to talk about what I do for how I take care of the cats. So, and some of this is still new, but I have one container up here for cat food and water. Um, I love that you can pick them up and uh, drain it out real easily. Works really well. I have a second one over here, so I am going to keep um, two separate bowls for the two kitties. Just, I don't know, just makes more sense that way. Because I give uh, dry food and wet food. I keep wet food up here, friskies, and then I have another one that I am storing. Um, as far as food, I have this little container down here for cat food. This is where I empty the bag of cat food into. Now this is just a normal, uh, like a normal file tote, basically. Um, but it works for me because I use this bag, which gives it an airtight seal. Without this bag, it wouldn't be sealed right. So put the bag down because there's holes and slits in the actual uh, stuff here. So using that bag makes it so that it's an actual solid uh, sealed container. That's where I store the food. I keep extra litter in the bathroom, right there, out of the way. In the litter box, I, um, I showed a video where I was talking about the modification I made for Jax's area, and that's this little stool that goes right here, and it just kind of raised it up over the old seat that used to be down there, and then um, I have to clean my litter box twice a day, even, even when it was just me and Jax. See, they're smelling right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> They're not fighting. But um, as far as litter, I use this trash can right here. Same thing, another bag for a sealer to keep this so that no scent gets out at all. But um, I empty this guy about once a week. So I just scoop from the litter box into this thing, close it back up, seal it, and sanitize it. And um, like I said, I'm going to have to keep doing that at least uh, two times a day here to keep up with two cats using the same litter box. And um, I've got a scratching post here. Um, both kitties are totally fine climbing up this ladder and getting to the loft bed when they want to. So that's no problem. And um, so, yeah, um, I can't imagine not traveling with a cat. It would it would not be not feel right to me for sure. So, yeah, that's how I travel with uh, cats in an RV.